Hello Bahamas. Uh, today we're praying for a special individual, a seven-year-old. Her name is Tania Cash. Uh, I'm looking at the Tuesday Tribune on page seven um, for the local news. And it says that Tania Cash uh, is, her family's pleading with the public to assist them in raising $80,000 to finance medical bills uh, that they expect to um, incur in a matter of weeks. It says that she has been diagnosed with osteogenic sarcoma, a malignant cancer of the bone. Um, she's at Princess Margaret Hospital, at least at the time of the writing, and she's undergoing the chemotherapy, and it looks like she's preparing for an oper operation to amputate her leg. However, says that a Miami hospital is capable of removing the tumor and uh, some bone while putting a, a, a prosthesis in the leg to save the actual leg. However, this is why the bill is so pricey, um, being for sixty to eighty thousand uh, dollars. It's important to note it says that a um, that unlike cancers of other bones, pain in um, oh, sorry. Unlike other cancers, pain in bone cancer is more noticeable because of the rigid bone tissue, which cannot expand when pressed on by an invading tumor. So uh, this young girl feels a lot of pain. Um, the family is hoping for a full recovery or a steady recovery or just a good recovery. It's an interesting thing to note. It says that um, Miss Cash said, I feel helpless like somehow I have failed her. But here's a good part. But there's nothing God can't do, she explained. We look forward to being, we look forward to seeing her being healthy again. Okay. Okay, I'm a little late on reporting this. Uh, they had a a cookout for her but we still can give assistance give me a second it says you can send public donations to the Tania Cash Medical Fund at the Royal Bank of Canada account number 720-5628 once again Royal Bank account number this is the Tania Cash Medical Fund number 720-5628 all right. Uh, while we're going to pray for, her, let's if we can assist with financial assistance, let's please donate uh, what we can. Uh, let us pray.